Hey, After Effects users, it's Noel Powell from creationeffects.com. I've been cranking out the free products lately, almost one every month, and uh, this time it's Sparkles. So this is a preset. Uh, you can install it and then access it anytime inside of After Effects and apply it to your footage to add custom sparkles. And it gives you a lot of control over their intensity and where you want them to appear. And it works on all kinds of footage. So you could sparkle Meghan Markle or even sparkle Spackle. Now you might be thinking, oh, I can just do that with a standard glow effect that's built into After Effects. Wrong, sir. Wrong. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. First of all, while you can get a glow streak with the glow effect, it doesn't give you an option to rotate it. Also, it's going to put a glow on the brightest parts of the footage. So if there's a large area that's all white, that whole baby's going to glow. And uh, this sparkle preset also works on the brightest part of the footage. But when those bright areas are too big, which is the case most of the time, you can contract those areas to be as small as you want and uh, get a more detailed and realistic sparkle. But let's talk sparkles and how to use it. Uh, if you didn't download it yet, just go to the link in the description uh, and then look for the freebies section. And once you open the contents of the zip file, you'll see this .ffx file. And if you're in Windows, uh, I'll put up the location on your hard drive for where to put that file. I'm on a Mac, so I'll just show you where it goes on a Mac. Uh, just go to Applications, then After Effects, then Presets. And if you haven't already, create a folder in there and name it Creation Effects, and then you can just keep all of the free presets that you download from the site in that folder, and it'll make them easy to find in After Effects. All right, I've got two example clips that we're going to look at really quick. Uh, first, let's get sparkles on these floating particles. Uh, the preset goes on a duplicate copy of your footage. Um, it doesn't really work on an adjustment layer, so you'll need to duplicate your footage and set that top layer's blending mode to screen. So if you have a bunch of layers in your comp that you want to add sparkles to, you'll need to pre-compose them and then duplicate that pre-comp layer. And then once you've got your duplicate, just go to your effects and presets panel and um, you could do a search in here for sparkles. Or if I go into animation presets and then presets, here's my creation effects folder. And uh, with my layer selected, I'll just double click. And this is a hot mess, so I'll close all of those and just open the top one, which is my customization controls. And these will be familiar to you if you've ever used the glow effect. Um, these first four are the important ones. So I'll crank up the intensity here so that we can see them better. And I'll increase the threshold uh, to reduce the number of sparkles. And, and that's the idea. Uh, if I wanted uh, them to be really long, I could increase the radius. Um, or I could rotate them. Uh, if you turn on the large glow, it adds a big round glow to the whole thing. It, uh, that makes the streaks brighter, but it also adds that large dreamlike glow to it. Uh, before I show you the next example, I want to add uh, that I tested this effect on a lot of different clips, and it worked great on almost all of them. But I did encounter a problem a couple times where I just couldn't see the sparkles, no matter how much I played with these controls. And the problem was that there was no white in the footage. Uh, it was underexposed. So if you can't see the sparkles, just unhide this effect uh, named brightness here on that duplicate copy of your footage uh, to brighten it up. Because if it's too dark all, then bye bye sparkle. All right, I, I do want to go over one more example that shows how the effect works. Uh, you can see this clip has some really big areas uh, that are pretty much pure white which would normally be a, a problem for the glow effect. Um, we would have some massive sparkles. But let's see uh, what happens with the preset. I'll duplicate the layer, and don't forget to set it to screen. And I'll add the preset. And again, I'm going to make these bigger and brighter so that you can see it better. So when I solo this layer, um, I'll put my threshold at 100. Uh, which is the maximum threshold for the standard glow effect, uh, 100%. But obviously we're, we're way too sparkly, uh, too much sparkle, Tony Starkle. But because I've got these choker effects here, uh, we can keep cranking this up until uh, we just see a few small areas. And then I, I can turn my footage back on. And we could always keyframe that threshold control uh, if if the overall size of those white areas uh, changes over time. 
and we could mask out an area like if I just wanted sparkles on these parts. Or you could create uh, an anamorphic lens flare um, if you choose to use a single color and then you could rotate it. Then hide one of the glow effects down here. And that's about it. Uh, enjoy the sparkles. Uh, be sure to go through the other free After Effects presets at creationeffects.com and take a look at the visual effects templates when you're there too. I have a, the new space effects template which allows anyone with After Effects to create really high quality space animations or creation artifacts uh, which turns your footage into animated artwork in a bunch of different mediums or creation trippy effects which is full of trippy animations and psychedelic effects for your footage or landscaper which lets you make any kind of 3d landscape animation in after effects or flocks swarms and schools which are some popular templates for adding custom flocks of birds or swarms of insects and schools of fish to your videos all that and a bunch more at creationeffects.com